we welcome you all dear students for 11th lecture of uh, graph theory under the heading uh, cmpsa now today we will discuss the basic loop incidence matrix which is uh, generally denoted by c matrix and the dimension for this matrix c is e cross l okay now here e means the number of elements and l means the number of links okay so for forming of this particular uh, matrix we have to consider one oriented graph network okay so very first i will draw the oriented graph network uh, which we uh, consider for the formation of uh, cuts, basic cut set matrix and previous matrix matrices okay so here we had considered one tree which consists of three branches that is one two three and there were four nodes zero one two three okay and remaining branches were acting as a links here a dotted red line you can see this is the element number four you can see link four this is element number five link five and element number six okay also we can give the directions as per the given one or we can assume the directions as we want okay now uh, in previous lecture uh, we form the basic cut set matrix in which we consider the number of cut set is equals to the number of fix that is number of branches of tree okay so here there are three branches of tree and another elements acting as a link so total elements are six and links are three so here that if you see dimension e cross l means you will get the six by three matrix again okay there will be six elements and three links now the basic loop is formed by connecting one link at a time to the tree okay so while forming the basic loop we have to consider or connect one link only at a time okay means in that loop there should be only one link to that of tree okay again the direction of this uh, basic loop will be decided by the direction of link okay so obviously if we are considering or we are taking one link at a time means there will be number of loop will be same as that of number of link okay so how many links are there there are three links so obviously there will be three loop and the direction of that basic loop will be decided by the direction of link only okay it will be same as that of direction of link okay uh, so uh, here uh, the number of we can see the number of basic loop will be same as that of number of links okay in case of uh, basic cursed matrix the number of basic cursed where depends on the number of branches of tree that is number of twig okay so if we take one link at a time so we will consider first this four number link okay and i am going to form this loop number suppose l1 okay next i will consider link number five which forming this loop this loop so i will call it as a loop number two and this element element number six that is link number six forming this loop okay that which consists of six element two element and three element okay so this will become your loop number three okay so we have to consider the number of loop according to the number of link to that of tree okay now uh, as usual uh, we will write some terminology if c i j is equals to zero 
ओके सी आई जी विल बी ज़ीरो इफ द आयत एलिमेंट इज नॉट ए पार्ट ऑफ जयत फंडामेंटल लूप ओके सो सी आई जी एलिमेंट विल बिकम ज़ीरो इफ द आयत एलिमेंट इज नॉट ए पार्ट ऑफ जयत फंडामेंटल लूप ओके नो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू कंसिडर दिस लूप नंबर वन एल वन सो इन दिस हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट्स आर प्रेजेंट वन टू थ्री फोर ओके बट फाइव एंड सिक्स आर नॉट प्रेजेंट इन दिस लूप सो दैट विल बिकम ज़ीरो सिमिलरली सी आई जे विल बी प्लस वन इफ द आयत एलिमेंट इज ए पार्ट ऑफ जयत लूप एंड बोथ हैविंग सेम डायरेक्शन ओके इफ दिस एलिमेंट इज इंक्लूडेड इन दैट लूप और इज अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर लूप एंड हैविंग सेम डायरेक्शन सो इट विल बी प्लस दैट एलिमेंट विल बिकम प्लस बिटवीन दिस रो एंड कॉलम दैट इज बिटवीन एलिमेंट एंड दिस बेसिक लूप एंड सी आई जी विल बी माइनस वन इफ आयत एलिमेंट इज ए पार्ट ऑफ जेयत फंडामेंटल लूप और लूप एंड देयर डायरेक्शंस आर अपोजिट टू ईच अदर ओके इफ देयर डायरेक्शंस आर अपोजिट देन इट विल बी माइनस वन ओके सो वी विल फॉर्म दिस मैट्रिक्स सी दैट इज बेसिक लूप इंसिडेंट मैट्रिक्स सो सो C matrix will become again this matrix will be between element and basic loop okay so obviously there are three loop l1 l2 l3 and there are six element 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 okay so if you consider this first column that is first loop number 1 l1 okay so in this l1 which elements are part of this loop 1 2 3 4 4 is a link itself okay and direction of link direction of this link number 4 is likewise you can say it's a anti clockwise okay but here the direction of 1 2 3 element you can see so this is opposite to that of direction of link number 4 so obviously this element 1 2 3 will become minus 1 okay so 1 will become minus 2 will become minus 3 will become minus and this four number is link 1 and 5 and 6 are not a part of this jth loop so it will become zero okay so while forming this we have to consider this terminology okay so similarly the loop number 2 now loop number 2 consists of the link number 5 and these two elements 2 and 3 only okay so total three elements are there 5 3 and 2 okay so again if you see the direction of 5 is like this and direction of 2 and 3 is like this which is opposite okay so 2 and 3 element will become minus 1 and the five element will be will be as it is plus 1 so here first element is not present or not a part of that particular loop number 2 that is l2 so it will become zero two number element will become minus 1 three number element will become minus 1 four number is absent zero five number will become zero and six will be zero similarly in loop number 3 there are again three element 6 2 and 3 again direction is opposite okay so here zero two is present it will be minus because of opposite uh, direction three element will become minus one four and five will be zero which is not a part of that particular loop and six will be one 
ओके सो इन दिस वे वी कैन फॉर्म द बेसिक लूप इंसिडेंस मैट्रिक्स एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर मैट्रिक्स सेटिस्फाइज के वी एल ओके दिस लूप इंसिडेंस मैट्रिक्स सेटिस्फाइज के वी एल ओके एज यूर बेसिक कर्सेट इंसिडेंस मैट्रिक्स that is b matrix satisfies kcl similarly as we are talking about the loop okay so this will be the voltages across these different branches of six branches okay one to six elements are your voltages you can say okay and l1 l2 l3 are the loops or you can say currents okay so this matrix satisfies kirchhoff's voltage law again if we consider this part upper part of this uh, matrix c which is corresponds to the 1 2 3 means correspond to the branch so we can call it as a cb and this matrix is a now again unity matrix you can see here this is you got unity matrix okay which is corresponds to link so this will be ul cb and ul okay so this is what about the basic loop incidence matrix c matrix okay so next matrix uh, we will uh, continue in next lecture okay thank you very much